evaporation and condensation. In this module, let us understand the natural phenomenon of evaporation and condensation. As a result of a rainy day, Jay's coat gets wet. Now, in order to dry it up, he hangs the coat on the terrace roof. Next morning, he finds that the coat has dried up. Aren't you surprised? How could water-soaked coat lose all that water? Let me explain you. The water in the coat has been converted into gaseous form and has been transferred into the air through a process called as evaporation. Thus evaporation is a process by which water is converted from its liquid form to the gaseous form. The process of evaporation constantly takes place in the nature. Do you know? Sun is the major cause for evaporation. Winds also contribute in the evaporation process. Thus, we can conclude that the clothes would dry up faster on a windy sunny day than on a normal sunny day. Condensation process When water vapor is converted into water, we call it the process of condensation. The process of conversion of water vapors into water is called as condensation. Do you know, the process of evaporation and condensation creates a water cycle in the mother nature. Now let us understand the water cycle. Initially, the water is converted into water vapors with the help of sun rays. Due to the low temperature in atmosphere, these water vapors are converted back to water by the process of condensation, resulting in the rain. Thus the water completes a full cycle, from first being in the liquid form, then converting into gaseous form, and then finally converting back to the water form in the form of rain. So we can conclude that the process of evaporation and condensation is responsible for water cycle in nature. We have learned the process of evaporation, the process of condensation, the process of water cycle and the rain.